Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people, and welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could join me for yet another planner video. I'm here in my mega happy planner. She's all closed up in her leopard portfolio, and I'm gonna be planning for the upcoming week in my fitness planner. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip to my fitness section here. Where is it? Here it is. Oh my goodness, I have been slacking on my fitness this entire month. Um, so if you're interested in seeing what I get into with my fitness planner, uh, I'm using a happy planner fitness style planner. Just keep on watching. So this is my Franken planner and I love her. Uh, I separate all of my sections from each other in this uh, planner with scrapbook paper and so I have the scrapbook divider here and then oh, I have the October overview and every time I look at it I'm so sad because this month has been just this month and last month have just been absolutely not it when it comes to fitness i had so many aspirations this month and i just saw them all go by the wayside i just have been so 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 incredibly busy with work i just haven't been able to really get back into my fitness and so um for the monthly overview what i like to do is i have this like challenge that i have here that i use the overview for and these boxes represent workouts and i have 10 boxes per um per body area or type of workout these are the three areas i really want to work on so my abs my booty and my arms and so every time I work out for one of these areas, I want to fill in one of these boxes and hopefully, you know, by the end of the month, I have a lot of these filled in. As you can see, <laughs> that did not happen. Um, you know, there are still, it's still, uh, we still have four days left in the month. So maybe I can at least fill in four of these boxes, but let's see, who am I kidding? We'll, we'll see what I do with this, but in previous months, I've had a lot of these filled in. And so that's why I, you know, made this challenge or I have this challenge here. And then down here, I just have some reflections, but, oh, looking at this makes me so sad because, uh, I just did not work out at all this month. Uh, I mean, I did work out. I did go on a few runs. I did go on many, many walks. I did go on a hike or two, but overall, I just haven't really been strength, you know, working out in terms of strength and definitely not to the level that I am kind of used to. So that's just been really upsetting. And same with this monthly calendar view i like to um decorate this with the workouts that i've done and um yeah as you can see absolutely nothing so uh, we gotta recommit we gotta recommit to fitness y'all it needs to happen because it, i've just been feeling really really bad um when I don't work out and not that I feel guilty or anything. It's not that I just feel physically bad. I feel mentally bad if I don't get a lot of my energy out, um, with working out. So we're just gonna have to recommit. Uh, oh my goodness. So I'm going to flip through a couple of, um, the last week's spread so you can see kind of what, how I, how I've been decorating and setting things up. And I've actually really been trying to stay in my planner, even if I'm not working out, because just the fact that I am in my planner helps me to kind of keep track of what I'm eating, the steps I'm taking. Um, and if I do, you know, walk a mile or so, I'll note it down so that I kind of, you know, am able to keep on motivating myself. So this is the second week in October. And as you can see, my workouts are like kind of empty slash they're just walks. Like I did three walks here. I did a one mile hike. And then near the end of the week, as you can see, I can, I'm definitely not in my planner as much. I'm not filling things out. And then this was last week and I just absolutely, from Friday on, I was just like not in my planner at all. I tried, I tried this week, I did get some things down, but I've just been not, not fully present um, in my fitness planner. So 
you know, that's how it is sometimes. You just always have to continue to just recommit. Um, sometimes that recommitment happens has to happen every single week because that's just the name of the game. Sometimes uh, that's just what what you need to do is force yourself to um, to recommit and just keep on getting up and keep on trying and uh, eventually you'll get there. So let's let's uh, let's plan out this week. So this is the twenty fifth through the thirty first. It's Halloween week, and I it's actually I'm not gonna lie to you. It's actually a Wednesday morning right now, the twenty seventh. So I haven't even um, I haven't even gotten into this planner at all until today. So I'm just gonna go ahead and decorate and set up some things. I have my fitness sticker book from the Happy Planner. I have some leftover Halloween stickers from last year so I might pull for some of these but the goal here is to just get in my planner again get motivated to use it so I'm gonna try to make the spread real cute and I'm gonna try to work out some um, this this week so let's just start decorating I'm gonna pull for some of these uh, these Halloween stickers, Moonlit Magic. I love that. How is your workout regimen going and your fitness program? Let a girl know in the comments down below. Are you struggling as I am struggling this week, this month? This These last two months have just been an absolute struggle bus. I am just, I'm so, I'm so, uh, I am just so, so, uh, like behind when it comes to fitness right now. It's kind of sad. Ugh, I don't want to be moaning and groaning, um, throughout this video. So I'm just gonna have to, I'm just gonna have to stop that. Okay, so let's see. Let's pull for my fitness. Don't give up sticker book. I'll grab the sticker, the cardio and confidence one. Put that down here. Ooh, this progress, not perfection sticker. Um, I am definitely feeling that this week. So we're gonna, we're gonna pop that down there. Progress, not perfection. Um, and actually I might do a little bit of a back plan right here because I did work out Monday I ran like a mile and I walked a mile about there so I did work out but running is about all I've been doing lately um and for me that's that's not a lot that is not a lot I'm gonna grab one of these weekly habit stickers this is gonna be for my um for my steps my 10k steps and also I'm gonna grab another one for my water intake so i try to drink two liters of water a day so i'm gonna write those there and then let's see i'm gonna grab one of these boxes and put this on tuesday even though it's wednesday <laughs> i'm gonna put it on tuesday because i want to use this box to mark one of my uh, my split my stretch routine I do a 15 minute stretch routine to get my front splits and I try to do it on Monday, but I didn't get to do it uh, Monday or Tuesday. So I'm gonna do it today and I'm just gonna write it down there. And then this focus section I always use for, um, for my stats. So like my steps, my caloric intake, my caloric output. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna leave that blank. I'm gonna grab one of these work it out boxes and I'm gonna put it on halfway between Friday and Saturday. Let's see if there's anything else I wanna do. I'll grab a little workout stick. Ugh, I just ripped that. Nothing is going right today. <laughs> today has honestly been such a struggle. Okay, so workout. Um, I'm gonna put this workout sticker here on Thursday to motivate me to work out. And, um,. Same for Saturday. I'm gonna go ahead and do something there. And you know what? Same for today. I'm gonna try to work out uh, four times this week. 
So I already worked out on Monday. So today, Thursday, and Friday, these will be my workout days. And you know what? I might as well just use up this sheet here. It's um, th These are meal stickers. So I'll just put those down. And I kind of want to pull for like a box here um, to kind of journal in. So maybe I'll pull for this silver box here. I'll pull for this girl on her treadmill. Ah! And I'm going to pop that down here because I did do a run down here or on Monday. And I might start decorating this monthly page. I do want to decorate the monthly page and I'm thinking of decorating each day with the exercise and the workout that I did that day. So for example, Monday I uh, or yesterday I didn't do too much but I did walk. So I'll put down this walking sticker. And I also walked on a Monday as well, and I also ran, so let's see if I have a running sticker. It's interesting to me that this workout book does not have any running stickers at all. I would think it would have like a good amount of running stickers. They have walking stickers, but they don't have running stickers. Maybe I could, um, maybe what I could do is like draw a little person running. Let's see. Do a little person running. This is basically, uh, I'm just copying the little person here, but I'm gonna put some like air lines behind them to represent that he, that they're going fast. So I'm gonna put run. And then I can also write down like exactly what I ran. Um, and this is kind of redundant from what I end up writing and planning um, this week or like during the weekly plans. But I don't mind that because it motivates me even more to, um, to exercise and so that I can write it down two places. Like if I ran three miles, I want to write that down like five times you know instead of just like one time if that makes sense so let me put down a run as well here and walk and i just realized that this is my 1.0 pen and i wanted my 5.5 that's why my little person turned out so intense the line was so thick oh well and then I also went on a walk on Tuesday. I'm gonna grab this little girl power sticker and put that down here in the corner. And I also am gonna grab one of these like little hydrate stickers and put that here. And what else? Um, I'm gonna grab this little like heart rate sticker and put that down there and you know what I'm just gonna put um, hydrate and cardio and Monday I did that Tuesday I definitely hydrated um, Tuesday I also walked okay there we go I'm gonna write down here, 15 minute. I like this quote, see what happens if you don't give up. I'm gonna go, go ahead and grab that. I feel like I really, really need this reminder. So I'm gonna put this on a Monday. There we go, love it. 
And because it is Halloween, I want to see if there's anything else I want to grab from maybe, maybe this chandelier. Where would I put this? Maybe like here. And I think the last thing that I'm gonna do is write down um, my little like stat tracker here. As you can see, I kind of have like a format that I like to use. I keep track of my steps, my caloric intake, my caloric output, and then my net caloric gain. And I like using Tombow markers to kind of uh, mark out the, uh, the area that I write in. So I like using shades of blue and the accent colors are blue. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Okay, that's it. I'm done with that. That always takes me forever. I kind of want to get like a stamp or something like a custom made stamp where I could just like stamp it down. And the last thing I'm going to do is write down a lunch here um, just so that uh, I can mark that out. And I think we're done. I think we're good. Honestly, this isn't my favorite spread, but um, it is what it is. I mean, I always need my fitness spread to be super, super functional. I don't tend to really uh, like, prioritize the aesthetics in this planner because for me, I just want it to be really, really functional. And yeah, so thanks so much for joining me for this plan with me. Let me know how your fitness um, regimen is going down below. Let me know what you've been loving um, for exercise. Uh, help a girl out. Let's motivate each other. And I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.